hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll show you all how to make brioche bread without a mixer so i would start by mixing little amounts of flour with some sugar yeast and warm milk together this is the sponge method it produces a better crumb structure and more flavor it also produces lighter texture for the brioche bread so I'll just mix that together, cover it and let it sit in a warm place for one hour. After one hour, this is what it should look like. It should have doubled up in size. So I would go ahead to transfer that into my flour. Please ensure to sieve the flour before you make use of it so you get a perfect texture so after putting that into the flour i would also go in with the egg as well and then using a spatula i would give this a good mix When the work gets more intense, I would go in with my hands so that I can do a better job. Once the dough looks this soft, go ahead to flour your work surface and then transfer the dough onto the work surface and start kneading. After kneading for about 10 minutes, I will go ahead to add in the butter in batches. Make sure the butter is at room temperature and ensure you're not adding everything at once. So I'm going to add in the butter in batches just like I said and please ensure that you also spread some flour at some point so that it doesn't look too too soft for you to handle so i added in the butter for about seven times at intervals and at some point the dough is going to look this way because it has a lot of fat content in it so just do well to scrape it when necessary and then add in a bit of flour when necessary as well As you continue to knead the dough, you would notice that it continues to come together and it won't be as sticky as it was. So, the test for you to know if it is ready is for you to just go in with your thumb like this. Once it is not sticking to your hand, you are sure that it is ready and it should look smooth as well. So, transfer that to a bowl that has been oiled. And then cover that up and let it sit in a warm place for one hour. After one hour, it should have doubled up in size. Go ahead to deflate the dough and then cut it up into your preferred size. This recipe should give you two medium sizes of bread but if you want a big loaf of bread it would just do one of it so i'm going to cut one of it into three and then roll it and stretch it out just as seen in the video after that i would pinch one of the edges and then go ahead to braid it Once I'm done braiding, I would pinch the edge and then fold it in 
then i noticed that this part of the braid looks so loose so i'm going to tighten that up pinch it as well and fold it in after braiding it should look this good so transfer that to a loaf pan and then cover it up let it sit in a warm place for at least 45 to 1 hour or until it doubles up in size crack an egg and then go in with liquid milk whisk that together because we would use that to brush the dough this is after one hour it looks so good so i'm going to brush that up with the egg wash and then i would pop that into the oven for 25 minutes to 20 degrees c after that guys we just made this beautiful delicious bread it tasted so good but i love to brush it up with some butter and that is it i hope you give this recipe a try because it tasted really really good and do well to like this video if you're yet to subscribe and then tap the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video check the description box below for the recipe and i'll see you all in my next one bye guys